just want to warn you, don't, don't inject with these. Today I've got a 5 ml syringe, somatropin powder, which we're going to add the bacteriostatic saline to. Prepare my syringe, opening the packaging. Okay, at this point, I'm probably going to remove most of the air. Oops. This filters out any of the glass particles that you have from opening the ampule. In Europe, they love to use these. You never want to inject with these. These are blunt and they'll be very painful. Be careful when you remove it. As you take the cap off, be careful. It may bring the entire needle off as well. This needle, this needle's too blunt, too fat, and it will make a hole in the rubber bung. And you can see that there. Three, two, one. This is what you'll need for today's reconstitution. Now you could use a three ml or a five ml. Today I've got a five ml um, syringe because that doesn't come with the actual zomactin. All that you get with zomactin is uh, essentially the vial, the ampule and the vial of powder right there. You wanna make sure that you have a clean area to work with and that you washed your hands, that goes without saying. Then you want to take account of all the different items that you need to mix or reconstitute or add liquid to the actual powder. Now the liquid is called a diluent or solvent, and this is included within the uh, within the within the zomactin or somatropin. So let's take a look and see what you have inside. So in the somatropin uh, zomactin brand, it comes with a glass ampule of bacteriostatic saline. So essentially it's salt water with benzyl alcohol mixed in here. And the next bit you've got is the powder, which is the uh, actual somatropin powder, which we're going to add the bacteriostatic saline to. Okay, so you put your box aside. I've got some alcohol preps. I've got a sterile filter or basically sterile blunt fill needle. You'll never want to inject with these. These are blunt and they'll be very painful. So just, just want to warn you, don't, don't inject with these. Uh, the other bits are, uh, you can pick either or. We've got a 25 gauge needle uh, for putting it through the rubber stopper. And we've got a blue needle or a blue needle if you happen to have that. You just don't want something that's too thick because you don't want to have a big hole. You don't want to have a big hole in your rubber bung. Right, now we're ready to get this prepared, get this ready. What I'll do is I'll grab my bacteriostatic saline and I'll simply prepare it. I may wipe it, sometimes I wipe it, sometimes I don't with an alcohol swab, okay? I also take the vial and I open the, the top on the vial like this and I'll uh, wipe this and let it dry, okay? I'll prepare my syringe by opening the packaging and this packaging as well. And then I will attach the syringe to the filter needle. This filters out any of the any of the glass particles that you have from opening the ampule. In Europe, they love to use these these glass ampules, which is really annoying and frustrating if you're not used to them, how to open a glass ampule. So this is a technique you'll have to learn uh, before you open a glass ampule because you can risk cutting yourself or shattering uh, the top bit, or you might even shatter the whole amount. So just be really relaxed. I'm right-handed, so my left hand, I hold the ampule. Uh, there's a little blue dot on this, and that's your guide. Make the blue dot face towards you. So the blue dot's facing towards me. And you can see that there. And then I just tuck my thumb on the blue dot, like that. I can up the blue dot in front of me. Okay, so that's in front of the blue dot. You move away, you, you use the away motion to open the ampule in a one quick movement. So don't squeeze the bottom, just hold it. Don't overly squeeze the top because that's how you shatter it. And then snap it open, snap it away from you Never snap it towards you because that's usually how you break it. So three, two, one. And it's really simple. Okay, so I put this aside. Again, my particular 
syringe as five mils, you might be given a three mil syringe. It depends what you have. We want to pull out the entire contents, about three mils outside, out of this diluent. Place my needle syringe complex inside of the ampule and I just withdraw or aspirate or remove all of the contents until they're empty. Okay, and that should be good. Now, again, at this point, I will swap out this needle. This needle's too blunt, too fat, and it will make a hole in the rubber bung. So you don't want to do that. So simply, you can just either twist the top off. This one's a Lua slip, by the way, so it doesn't really, you can just lift it off. Then you can place, I'm going to use the 25 gauge, which is a smaller gauge. It's just bacteriostatic saline. It's not very thick or viscous. I will just place that on there. And you just push it on. Okay, so it's pushed on. Be careful when you remove it. If you have a Lua slip, if you get the five mils, as you take the cap off, be careful. It may um, bring the entire needle off as well. But in this case, I had it on tight enough. Okay, at this point, I'm probably going to remove most of the air. Oops. Okay, until I have just about three mils, but you have to leave a little bit extra. The instructions in the Zamactin tell you to do about three point, I think one, four, seven, a really awkward number, um, but because it's a taking into account what you may lose in the syringe or the needle. But if you, um, your dose should be titrated around three mils. Then just essentially find the target inside of the, uh, in the rubber bung, depending how good your eyes are, just place it inside there and then slowly depress your plunger. Okay. And I find with this one, you don't really get any any air. So you don't have to really worry about um, waiting until the, the air pushes it back. In this case, um, it's simply just put in the contents and then, then that's it. And that's it, that's all you have to do. Your dosing will be given to you by the doctor. Again, each box of these uh, Zamactin somatropins are four milligrams, which works out to be 12 IU. And it was very difficult to find, but our pharmacists and our um, contact with the manufacturer have confirmed, as from other literature, that uh, four milligrams is 12, 12 IU. And now you're ready for the injection. So the type of injection you would use, it would be a subcutaneous injection. And that's simply one of these all-in-one needle syringes and or insulin syringes, as they're called. And you just would, like any other vial, um, entered through the rubber top after you wiped it off with an alcohol swab and let it dry. Just good standard practice. You just do that. And then you could, uh, you can withdraw. So I'm not going to actually do the injection, but that would be how you would prepare this. Let us know in the comments if this has been helpful, or you can contact Balthor Hormones directly if you have more questions about your own particular treatment. I want to thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully this helped.